a unique opportunity for anime and manga fans. If you're a One Piece fan, I'm sure you'd love to draw your favorite characters. Now you can get two amazing books for free. The first book will teach you drawing techniques, and the second one will show you how to create art directly on your phone without even needing to draw. You'll be able to create stunning virtual artwork just like the one on your screen right now. Both books are completely free if you act fast and click the link in the description. Don't waste time. This is a one-of-a-kind opportunity. <laughs> Hey there, pirates! Welcome aboard the Anime No Me channel. In One Piece, we encounter the powerful fruits capable of granting their bearer an incredible power. A power born from someone's dream, which through the devil fruits, turns these powers into reality. There are various theories and explanations in the One Piece world that explore why a user cannot obtain more than one devil fruit power. These explanations are seemingly just myths, and the true reason remains hidden. See you in today's video. In today's video, we will discuss a possible explanation for why a user can have only one devil fruit, potentially even explaining why Teach possesses the power of two fruits. I hope for your support to help our crew win, and to do so, you just need to click the thumbs up button, leave a like, and subscribe to the channel. By doing this, you will win an incredible devil fruit, so just comment which fruit you want. Guys, devil fruits are a central component of the One Piece universe, providing unique and extraordinary abilities to those who consume them. These extremely rare and highly sought after fruits are considered valuable treasures, coveted by pirates and adventurers in search of power, created through the greatest desires, dreams, and wills of humanity. If humanity strongly believes in or desires something, it could become a devil fruit. In chapter 1069, titled All Things Are Born in This World Because They Are Desired, Dr. Vegapunk explains that the Akuma no Mi are created similarly to other things. According to the scientist, these fruits emerge from people's hopes, bringing into reality the potential for human evolution that someone desired. Thus, an Akuma no Mi is born from the wish of a specific person. However, as these fruits go against the natural order, reality rejects them. This is why the sea, as an embodiment of Mother Nature, hates those who consume Akuma no Mi. It is something despised and unnatural, causing users of Akuma no Mi to be rejected by seawater. Despite being an interesting theory from Dr. Vegapunk, it remains just that, a theory. He himself clarifies that he has no concrete proof of this information. But knowing Aichiro Oda, everything in One Piece has a reason to be there. So, do not doubt that Dr. Vegapunk's theory about the Akuma no Mi may hold some truth. It's worth noting that, in the Christian context, the forbidden fruit represents the knowledge of good and evil as something reserved for the gods and thus dangerous for humans. When Adam and Eve consumed it, they became aware and were expelled from paradise, carrying with them both freedom and the consequences of their actions. This concept could mirror the devil fruits, where, upon consuming one, a person gains special abilities but is also punished with the loss of their swimming ability. As Vegapunk said, as if they were expelled from the marine world, a fundamental and natural element of the One Piece universe. Thus, devil fruits could symbolize this fruit of knowledge, granting users power and transformation beyond human limits. This power, however, comes at a cost, reflecting the punishment of Adam and Eve, the loss of their connection with nature. The influence of these fruits can therefore represent the burden of the desire for knowledge and power, placing their users in a distinct and often lonely position, as happened to Adam and Eve after they were banished from Eden. In the world of One Piece, there are three main types of devil fruits. Paramecia, Zoan, and Logia. Paramecia, devil fruits grant special abilities to their users, such as the power to transform the body, manipulate substances, or create energy barriers. On the other hand, Zoan devil fruits allow users to take the form of animals or mythical beings, acquiring their characteristics, ranging from common animals to legendary creatures. Finally, Logia devil fruits enable users to transform into and control natural elements like fire, ice, electricity, and even smoke, when someone consumes a devil fruit, they gain extraordinary powers, but also acquire a notable weakness, the inability to swim. The scientist Vegapunk himself speculates that Mother Nature is responsible for this disadvantage linked to the fruits. The presence of water drastically weakens devil fruit users, rendering them vulnerable and unable to use their abilities. This peculiarity makes water a dangerous element for those who possess these fruits and adds a strategic and challenging factor to battles in the one Peace world. Throughout the story, devil fruits play a crucial role, influencing alliances, conflicts, and dramatic twists. Notable characters such as Monkey D. Luffy, who consumed the Sun God's fruit, Nika, have gained remarkable elastic abilities. 
Within the vast world of One Piece, legends and speculations abound regarding the consequences if an individual were to consume two devil fruits. According to these stories, if someone dared to eat two of these mystical fruits, the two internal demons corresponding to each one would engage in a direct conflict. This epic battle between demons would result in a fierce internal struggle that would eventually lead to the user's own destruction, as this confrontation would repeat multiple times until the user lost their life. After all, it is impossible to take the power provided by a devil fruit from someone who is alive. Based on this legend, the demons would continue fighting within the bearer until one of them perished, something entirely impossible, as previously stated. The second option would be for the user themselves to lose their life due to this internal confrontation, causing these demons to migrate to another fruit, separating and no longer needing to confront each other. However, it is worth noting that these legends and theories have not been officially confirmed in the One Piece narrative. So far, there has been no situation in which a character has ingested two devil fruits and faced such a conflict. Therefore, the truth of these legends remains shrouded in mystery. The world of One Piece is rich in myths and popular stories, many of which are rooted in the beliefs of the characters and the legends passed down over time. Although there is no concrete information about the consequences of consuming two devil fruits, the fact that an individual can only possess the power of one of these fruits is already a significant restriction. Ultimately, the fate and possible consequences of consuming two devil fruits remain a mystery, but we know this should directly affect the lineage factor. As we know, the lineage factor is what connects a living being to everything. With the modification of the lineage factor, this being could experience changes in their body and even improvements that could make them incredibly strong. Stronger. And that is exactly what a devil fruit does. It modifies the lineage factor to offer extraordinary power. It is believed that when someone ingests a devil fruit, an internal metamorphosis occurs within them, a deep transformation that affects not only the body, but also the mind and spirit. Their lineage factor is completely altered to adapt to the characteristics of the ingested fruit. This transformation involves a connection between the user and the devil fruit. It is as if a part of the fruit's essence fuses with the being that consumed it, creating a bond. This connection goes beyond the physical realm, transcending into the spiritual plane. However, the theory are argues that this unique and profound connection cannot be duplicated or shared with another devil fruit. Each of these fruits has a unique and peculiar soul, a kind of spiritual entity that is intrinsically linked to its essence and the powers it grants. When an individual consumes a devil fruit, they become the vessel for that soul, allowing it to manifest through the user, modifying their lineage factor, and granting them extraordinary abilities. If someone dared to ingest a second devil fruit, the theory suggests that the two modifications to the lineage factor would cause the user's body to enter into conflict. Since the fruit definitively alters the lineage factor, only if the user loses their life would the lineage factor return to normal. With the lineage factor already altered and a new modification emerging through a second fruit, this would cause the user's lineage factor to clash. The two souls would not be able to adapt to provide the user with powers, leading them to lose their life due to this internal conflict. The clash between two devil fruits would be so overwhelming that it would exceed human capacity to endure. The user's body would become a swirling storm of conflict, with devastating consequences. Teach has a completely different body from others. Marco himself mentioned this strange characteristic in Teach's body. This could mean that he somehow has two lineage factors in his body. Through this advantage, he may have found a way to overcome this limitation, utilizing his two lineage factors to increase his power. The lineage factors may be related to Teach's genetic heritage or a specific biological peculiarity in his body. These factors may allow him to host two modifications from devil fruits within himself without suffering the same side effects as other One Piece characters. As we can see, the lineage factor in One Piece is indeed something fascinating and can be explored even further. We know very little about it, which means that in the future, we may see an even deeper explanation of the lineage factor and its connection with devil fruits. That was today's content. We hope you liked it and want to share your opinion on the subject. Don't forget to share the video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and stay amazing.